All right, we're in the Northern Bridgers, uh, just north of Sacagawea, and there's been a lot of new snow up here the last couple of days. You know, Bridger got almost two feet of really low density cold smoke powder, and that snow has just been redistributed by really strong winds over the past few days. There's really no cold smoke powder to be found up here. Instead, we're just finding these really dense wind slabs, and we just did a ECT here, got this wind slab to propagate, ECTP 11, and these slabs are forming on just some of this lower density snow. This is the stuff that fell a couple of days ago. The winds are loading thick slabs on top of this lower density snow, so this is actually our weak layer. It's not a persistent weak layer, it's not faceted snow, so this type of instability tends to heal pretty quickly. But right now, I think we still have a structure that's capable of producing avalanches, which is evident by this major avalanche that we can see in the bowl behind us. And I would still give these a couple more days before, uh, before I trust them. We're on the debris pile of this large slide just north of Sacagawea. And this slide is really impressive. It's hundreds of feet wide. Um, the debris ran all the way down into the flats below us. The crown looks to be you know, upwards of five feet deep in some places. It looks to be cornice triggered. But what's impressive about this slide is it just appears to be new and windblown snow. I don't think it's stepped down to any deeper layers in the snowpack. So I think all this snow just uh, got deposited in this bowl, you know, within the last week. So it's just a good reminder how large these slides can be just involving new and windblown snow and also to really pay attention when you're traveling under these large steep slopes especially that have big cornices overhanging them so it's just a good reminder to uh, keep heads up in this type of terrain.